Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my little shop of horrors. Today, you guessed it, we're gonna make more bad art and hopefully make lots of money doing it. Because that's what this game is all about. Now, I thought today we'd start off with my buddy Katok. He wants more curiosities from Earth, so paint something human for us. All right, I guess I can do that. I'm gonna buy the uh, Psyduck Heavy Gun, because I'm actually gonna be able to use this for this one, I think. What the hell, I have something else for delivery as well? What did I buy? Oh, it's a gift. I don't even know who got me this. Uh, oh, oh, oh God. Okay, stop, stop, stop. What the hell? I mean, I have the singing ball. What did I? Stop, it just doesn't stop. So we're just gonna have this thing going around annoying us the whole, where'd it go? Oh God. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty cool. So basically I can just choose any size I want and tape off part of the canvas. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. There's something about splatter paint that is just really pleasing for me. All right, let's see if this actually turned out well. Oh, why would it go through? The tape has betrayed me. Well, I gotta be honest, I never claim to be an artist, guys, but uh, can you guess what this is? Yes, it's a spoon, but not only is it just a spoon, it's magical. And that brings us to this video's sponsor, Magic Spoon. Shocker, I know, it's a cereal ad. So yes, this is Magic Spoon. It is super healthy, but sweet tasting cereal that I have been enjoying for a couple months now. If you don't know much about me, I decided a couple years ago to focus on health. And because of that, I'm 100 pounds lighter now due to smart decisions like this one. I love sweet cereal, but if you've looked at the nutritional values on those, you would quickly realize it's not the best thing for you. Well, that's where Magic Spoon comes in because it's sweet, but it's zero grams of sugar. This new flavor, Cookies and Cream, also has five net carbs, 13 grams of protein. A lot of their other uh, flavors are around there as well. Generally around the 14 grams and four net carbs with about 140 calories. And if you're not a fan of Cookies and Cream, well, the great thing about Magic Spoon is, well, they got lots of flavors. You got their classics like Frosted, Cocoa, their most popular flavor, Fruity, Maple Waffle is another one of their new flavors that is going to be there for good now because it was so popular, as, as I said, with cookies and cream as well. And then they have limited edition flavors. I haven't tried this one yet, but Blueberry. This dude's riding an octopus. You know you're gonna enjoy that flavor. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and of course, sugar-free as well. So if you're on that special diet, I'm sure Magic Spoon has you covered. Speaking of covered, I got you covered. If you want to uh, check out Magic Spoon, you can do so with the link Dre. There'll be a link in the description, or you can just go to Magic Spoon forward slash Dre, and you can get 5% off a variety pack, which is three different flavors that you can choose. If for whatever reason you don't enjoy the flavors though, well, there's 100% happy is guaranteed. So if you get in contact with Magic Spoon, they will refund 100% of your order. No questions asked if you are not happy with it. I should also mention last time I did this, a lot of you were upset that it didn't ship in your location. Well, it does ship to Canada and the UK now. So yeah, if you like cereal and you want to try a new flavor, please click the link in the description and get $5 off of your order. Don't forget to use code DRE. Thanks for your time. I swear the cereal's better than my artistic abilities, but thanks Magic Spoon once again for sponsoring another one of my episodes. Now, hopefully this crap will like my spoon drawing. Oh yeah, that's right. I can just send it down here. Okay, send painting. Uh, Katak. I guess we can do uh, Sierra's now as well because she was looking for a large canvas and uh, I didn't know they existed. So yeah, we might do that one next, but goodbye, Spoon. I actually really like that. That was fun. I'm excited to use the tape more. It's a bit of a bummer that the sides are not as crisp as I hoped for though. Okay, but we need to do fear if you remember. I already did it, but on a too small canvas. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. Okay, I have to buy this just out of morbid curiosity. It's called Mega Acid. It dissolves everything. When you say that, I have no choice but to buy it. We also have metallic. Yeah, it gives a metallic effect. These are actually cheap. So yeah, let's try this. Okay, mega acid, nice. Okay, so there is uses on this, just out of curiosity. What the hell does it do? Oh wait, it's cleaning that. I'm so confused. I don't know what it, okay. What, what is it doing to this? Is it cleaning it? Doesn't really work on paint though. Certain areas obviously it's working really well. I'm very confused by this. It looks like charring. Is it to get rid of charring? Well, I thought I could dissolve anything. I was, I was about to melt paintings. It would have been great. So this is supposed to make things chrome. Like, does it do any? Okay, okay. I, I, it's just basically chrome spray paint. Well, it does have a very pleasing shine, as you can see by the lighting behind me. So I think this will actually be pretty cool. 
I don't know if this was really... Oh, okay. So it does work on wet paint. Got it. So is it just like a, a new version of an eraser? That's, that's actually not a bad thing because sometimes the happy little mistakes are too much of a mistake. All right. One thing that I'm fearful of is explosions. I love them, but it's also a scary thing. So I think what I'm going to try and do here... I mean, we've seen that we can explode uh, spray cans in this game many of times. What I'm hoping for is this will give the effect of a human of some sort once the explosion happens behind this. Don't know if it's going to work or not. Only one way to find out. That did not work at all. Okay, we might need to go a little bit closer. We also <laughs> seem to have lost the human's head. Ah, oh, that did not work at all. God damn it. All right, I'm giving it a real effort. Uh, the ball shouldn't fall off now, hopefully, because, well, it gets pushed back into the canvas and uh, there's no room for it to fall. So I'm hoping... Oh, God, it's going to be... Oh, damn it. No, it's not even close. I think we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. I'm just going to waste money on freaking spray paint. All right, that's creepy already, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, just have it right on the canvas. That should at least give us the effect that we're looking for. I'm just going to do it on the ground here. See if that changes anything. I honestly have no idea. I mean, that's cool. That's the kind of effect I want, just small splatters. All right, there we go. It's definitely actually kind of looking like an explosion. I tried to get colors that are mostly explosion-like. I don't want to do too many colors, and it's just going to get muddy. Oh, dude, that's actually dope. All right, I'll get green nice and close. Hopefully, it's not too much green. That was too much green. God damn it. All right, get some fire colors in there. Orange, yellows, reds. All right, so we got orange and red. Hopefully, this will be what I want. I'm going to get this a little bit more in the middle because we're getting this nice round explosion. It's looking like the explosion's going upwards, which is actually what I wanted. So somehow, this really worked out. Oh, dude, there we go. And let's see what the orange looks like. That's dope. I can't wait to pull this off and see if it's what I wanted. We did have some yellow there, so I might need to just do some tweaking because I didn't get rid of the yellow at the start. Honestly, I, th I think the chrome base was a bad idea. If we would have had black, that would have been so freaking cool. We've gone too far now. At least it did what I wanted it to do, and it actually looks pretty freaking cool. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly touch this up. Uh, is this not... Is this the chrome paint? All right, so it's not working as expected. Let's see. This could ruin everything. I want to see if I can dissolve just the paint. Okay, it's dissolving everything. God damn it, I've, I've ruined it. You know what? I think we're just going to do this anyways. And why is the yellow not dissolving? Of all the things, I just wanted to get rid of the yellow. Oh, actually, the cool thing is it's not affecting the paint. So I can just get rid of this all. I can't paint it any other color, though. You know what? I'm cool with white. That actually looks pretty neat to me. I, I, I dig it. The, the chrome was a bad idea. I'd prefer black, but there's no easy way to do that. So we're just going to... Oh, God. Okay, it's, it, I forgot the backdrop is uh, still chrome. All right, we're getting rid of all the chrome. We're just going to white. All right, that is freaking dope, though. And that's, that's fear, if I do say so myself. It definitely looks like there's a human in an explosion there. So there we go. We can send it on this, I believe. Send painting. There we go. The thing about this is I get a surprise gift. My favorite. So hopefully it's something cool. Oh, God. Koki Koki's back. He wants more fish. He wants the biggest fish in all the fishes of the earth. Didn't I give him a shark before because he asked me for the biggest fish? Well, I accept because he's giving me a little khaki in return. A fish for a fish. I don't know what that means. I'm just so intrigued by the weird things we can possibly get in this. All right, so if this dude wants a fish, I shall give him a fish. We're going big, baby. Oh, looks like I got a package from uh, Sarah. So hopefully it's something cool. A freaking music box. Oh God, it's gonna scare me. Is it, is it gonna jump or is it just nice music? Well, I don't know what I expected. I've been uh, screwing this thing for a while now and nothing has popped out. I don't know what I could possibly do with this. It does make nice music, I guess. I'd much rather have money though. All right, so let's start with a nice bluey white base. See if we can maybe bring this down. There we go, kind of fit. Okay, so if we bring it up, we're obviously gonna make it lighter. So I'm thinking if we just stro stroke down. <laughs> So yeah, it's unfortunately I'm bringing the light up because at the end of my stroke, obviously there's going to be a lot of light paint on this. That's not working. So you know what we're doing? We're going back to my favorite tool in this damn game. <laughs> People say I shouldn't shade with this, but I'm doing it anyways. All right, that's kind of sky like. Now let's get one of my favorite tools, the feather brush in here so we can do some clouds. So we're just going to yeah, do some nice little 
<laughs> clouds here. Okay, so something like that. Let's not go too overboard. All right, so there we go. We have a nice baseline here. Blue background. Uh, I'm going to retape the top now because we're going to be working on the water. So we probably want the top somewhere around there just because we got all those weird things there. That one's not perfectly straight. That's going to bother me. All right, let's try the paint roller this time. I don't know, just something different to use. And I really like the paint roller in this game. We want a lot of darkness down in the deep... Oh, damn it! And I think we'll kind of end off with that color. We, we, we don't want it too bright because then it's just going to look like the sky. Oh, did the freaking sky just get in here? It was going so well until that happened. All right, so we're just going to have a lighter effect. I guess we can utilize that to lighten the top even more. Okay, let's see how it looks. Damn, I got to say... A hell of a lot better than most, at least for a background. Now it's time to ruin it. Okay, and here we're gonna have a little boat. And on that boat, we're gonna have a little guy just doing some fishing, man. All right, I'm gonna make the line a little bit bluer now because of the fraction of the water. That's the wrong freaking... Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, I used the wrong damn brush. All right, well, again, happy little accidents. It's gonna be a really thick line for the start. Going down into the scary depths. I'm sick of dealing with wet paint, so I bought a hair dryer because I'm boring. So that should hopefully <laughs> fix all the smudging issues I'm having. All right, now we're just going to go crazy drawing a giant horrifying fish. Of course, I taped this off and I'm first thing I'm out of the lines. Okay, obviously taking a lot of inspiration from Jaws with this one, but... That's pretty good. We'll go back to my favorite. Where'd my tool go? There it is. People are so sick of seeing this tool, probably. I'm sorry, but I just use what works, okay? All right, this is probably where I ruin it. I don't know how I'm going to do this, so we're just going to go for it and accept defeat if it's bad. All right, I want some red around the top. That's too much red. Oh, well. Okay, this should hopefully make it somewhat better. We're going to need teeth, so I'm going to hide all the imperfections with just some massive teeth. All right, you know what? Obviously, the shark didn't come out perfectly, but I mean, it's a shark. That definitely doesn't look too bad to me. Now, we got to obviously just do some fine tuning here, which I might be able to just smudge into place. I kind of like that the fins aren't attached, but obviously we should have them attached. Honestly, I think I liked it more when the fins were <laughs> disattached from the body, but I think I'm just going to stop and before I ruin it. I hope Koki Koki likes it and give me whatever the hell the fish is. Goodbye, painting. All right, let's see what this package is. It's a little fish? He asked me for a big fish in exchange for a fish and he gives me a little one? Come on, you jerk. <laughs> I can't believe. What did I expect? Oh my God, can I hang it? Oh, can I, wait, can I paint with it? Oh God, that's so wrong. There you go. Are you okay, bud? Yeah, he's fine. Don't you worry. He's not dead at all. Wait, that's actually amazing. So the scales, <laughs> it gives a scale effect. You know what? If I ever have to do a reptile or a fish for that matter, I have my paintbrush. <laughs> All right, we're at that part of the game again where I kind of just have to sell things to make money because I'm so focused on um, getting all these weird items like fish instead of actual money. So they asked me for a small canvas with the lie, something simple. Well, the lie is this is art. And uh, I mean, she asked for something simple. So I'm actually, you know, doing the job right. If you ask me. <laughs> it's art guys. You wouldn't understand. All right. I don't hate it. Actually, that was almost no effort at all. I don't hate it. Whoa, I didn't even know 13 days ago. I, I just realized I have an important tab probably should, you know, answer those emails. I'm awful with emails. Um, I guess I unlocked the other room a long time ago. So let's unlock it now and see what that's all about. Okay, we got that done. I also got pet bot. Put that brush right down and listen to me. I've sent you a package. This package is a robot. This robot is my graduation project in advanced robotics. There are only three models in the whole galaxy. Awesome. Okay, I get a freaking robot and a new, new room. I should check my emails more, more often. What did they give me? I thought they gave me this room. It was something virtual reality. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, it's... It's here. Just stick your head inside. All the paintings you sell will be virtualized there. Oh, my... Wait, where am I? What the hell? 
Oh my god, I have my own freaking gallery. Those majestic white walls are waiting for paintings worthy of them. As you display more paintings, become more famous. Some people may come visit your virtual gallery. New paintings. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at why are they sideways? I love it. Oh my god, all my old freaking paintings. All right, let's not talk about these paintings, okay? This is this is my this is my credit earning paintings. I'm glad I can hide them. <laughs> Send your paintings to the paradise of unappreciated art. Okay, we're definitely gonna do that for some of these. These low effort things, they go into the trash chute. Goodbye. Oh my god, was that my first painting? I think this was my first, right? <laughs> All right, this is going to be great, though. So what I'm going to do in my gallery is just progress from where we started to where we are now. So I think this is great. How do I put these? Do I just put them wherever I want? It's looking like that is exactly it. Oh, my God. This is so freaking cool. An intense emotion runs through me. Why? Okay, so I got rid of some of the paintings, but this will be a good progression. We can kind of see how I improve or get worse. I don't know if we can get worse than this though a lot of you say this is my best painting though so you know what <laughs> there is something extremely artistic about it speaking of artistic check out that i mean i've seen a lot of art before that is that 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 is art right there and as we go down you can actually see that i i kind of improve still one of my favorite ones the unintentional underground shark we have salt water here the floating monk followed the, these feel like they're they're made for each other we have magic spoon which we started today the exploding man the massive shark and yeah i feel like we go from here over to here you can see i definitely have improved all right so it seems like my art gallery is doing pretty good we'll definitely come back here soon I want to go back home and see what that robot's all about. Oh my god, it's in a pet box. It's got breathing holes. It's a freaking robot. It doesn't... Uh... It doesn't need breathing holes. What does this say? I'll write you some important stuff, so check your emails, Kindle. Yeah, you should probably email me more. I'm awful at it. Do I turn... Okay. Oh my god, I have an actual... Oh my god, it's got eyes. What are you doing? Can I, can I, can I ride you? Oh my god. I'm just weighing him down. He's like, what the hell, man? Get off me. Here, you can have this. Oh, oh, I shocked him. Oh my God. Do you, do you, ah, ah, God, you scared me. All right, well, we'll have to learn more about the robot in the next one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely one of my favorite episodes yet. We unlocked a lot. We have uh, truly made this place colorful. And just to update you guys on Jeremy and Haley for the hundreds of you who've asked me about them. If you missed the last episode, there was an actual proposal in an episode of mine. Jeremy proposed to Haley and obviously guys, she did say yes. I mean, who wouldn't say yes to art like this? So yeah, here's a picture of the happy couple just to update you guys. And uh, yeah, I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support. I truly have one of the coolest communities on YouTube in my opinion. And it truly just was a blast doing that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed another episode if you guys want to see more let me know in the comments below we've done a lot in this game there's still a lot to do though so yeah if you guys are enjoying my uh somewhat bad art uh we'll definitely do some more in the near future as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i'll see you in the next one